Oh, it's my face when they announce this. <laughs> Being bitten by a zombie is bad for your health. Hi, Capcom. Just when I thought you ran out of perfection, you simply gone and outdid yourself again by announcing a re engineerized old Resident Evil staple. Look, it's not easy to make logos funny. Now that most of the audience has groaned and left, what's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. When you start Resident Evil 2 Remake for the first time, and after about 15 minutes worth of settings that you can adjust if you're playing this on PC, Series X, or PS5, you get to choose your scenario right off the bat. No intro, you don't even get a title screen. You just get a short synopsis about which character you want to play as first. There are huge differences in the story, the weapon loadout, basically everything. These are two very different people. For the sake of this playthrough, we'll be starting with Claire Redfield, Claire A. Her ordinary life is about to change. Once you have selected your story, you get to choose your difficulty. I would suggest going for assisted if you have never played any of the Resident Evil remakes. They can be pretty tough for a first timer. Now, if you're going for normal, well, you, know, you get what you asked for. Hardcore, I would wait on. Especially if you're not used to the whole typewriter thing that Resident Evil used to do. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> Just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, Burger. last Friday night, I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, you'll sink your teeth in the I saw a tax in my Oh, come on. It's just getting good. You know, this is a much more subtle, more frightening way to start your zombie game based on a game from 98, where you get to meet with your character first. Not through cutscene, but through gameplay. And we're heading to a gas station where, uh, <laughs> you remember that inflation's a bitch. God, I actually remember when prices were this low. I wasn't driving. <laughs> 
There's actually a few things I want to look at at this gas station because some of the stuff is well hidden. Like, for example, here's a she rith car. Now, oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. When life has you seeing red, enjoy the wild taste of dingo red cigarettes. Get wild, now on sale. Yeah, a lot of these are just simple ads, simple telephone numbers, nothing Easter eggy there. But if you actually try to run to Raccoon City without your Harley, I don't know why you would want to. Oh, nowhere. Claire suddenly remembers, oh yeah, middle of nowhere. I guess I should go back. Now, we heard a bit of a commotion going on inside the gas station. Maybe if we go to Colombian uh, Colombian Roastmasters... See, I just remember that from Dead Rising. It could have been in every other Capcom game, and I wouldn't have known it. Aw, oh, dude, we can get an awesome-looking burger like the one from the opening cutscene? Oh, I'm so in! Now that was a burger! Hello? Anybody here? Hello? One thing right off the bat I remembered when playing this for the first time is how different horror is from back in 1998. This day and age, you need to do a lot more to scare your audience, especially if they grew up on horror games. Subtlety is now king. And a little darkness never hurt anybody. Especially being defenseless here in this opening. Are you okay? Wait here. I'll check it out. Some brilliant sound design and a little bit of confusion to start us off. That never hurts your horror game either. Well, that seems inviting. I wonder if they're just having a wrestling match back here. Evil engine going full force on those textures and graphics. Holy cow! We haven't had a first zombie experience in a hell of a long time, Capcom, and what a way to show off your flesh eating monsters. Oh, that's so good. He didn't stand a chance. I'm sorry, you were up against the first zombie. Pfft, you were as good as dead. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, but be careful. Alive. Resident okay. Evil 2 up the horror factor by making their zombies stupid resilient. <laughs> Just throwing that out there, it is actually kind of hard to kill these suckers. But don't worry, I'll help you out. But first we need to escape. Oh dear. Oh, even worse. It's like a nightmare. Oh uh, yeah, no kidding, I've had this nightmare before. Just run. Ah! The door! No, don't shoot! Get down! We gotta get out of here. You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit.
hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. If you have never experienced the story of Resident Evil 2, and only have knowledge of Resident Evil 1, the mansion incident, this story is told in a much more grim tone. The mansion incident happened, and over the course of a couple months, People started disappearing, dying, becoming members of an undead horde. Until eventually, Raccoon City lost people by the thousands. The city went silent as an army of walking corpses spilled into the streets, and only a handful of survivors remained. This is the story of Raccoon City's demise, how it slowly fell seemingly overnight and became a city of the dead. Welcome to Resident Evil 2 Remake. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. God, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Like we're walking from here. More like running. Yeah, good call. This is an immediate threat. Well, welcome to Raccoon City, I guess. Can't stop. Gotta keep moving. This is such a great look at a dying slash dead Raccoon City. It's like the end of the world. That's what it feels like. Everything's on fire. Dead people walk. This is fantastic. And this is what I visualized all those years ago. The police station. Almost there. The presentation is top-notch for the retelling of Raccoon City's destruction. 
it is so well done! And I was just in awe the first time I got to see this. Don't even bother fighting any of, any of the zombies, because you just need to make it to the police station, and you're home free. So another thing that current age Capcom just loves doing in their games is adding subtlety. Those zombies are going to bang on that gate and you actually hear them gnashing at the metal with their possible remains of fingernails, so bleh, that's pretty good. But then once you get to the police station and think, oh everything's great, you'll notice huge collections of body bags in front of the RPD. Uh oh. I think we have a problem. I don't think much people made it, if any. Wow. I mean, if you want, you can go say hi to the zombies, but just come on in. Again, it's almost like the 98 game has been brought into the HD age. This place is huge. This place was used as a refuge when the city started dying. There are so many supplies, and this place was probably where a lot of people held up for safety until it wasn't safe anymore. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Oh shit. They're inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I should help this guy. I'll be talking about this in more detail as the series goes on. But there are some reasons to critically pan Resident Evil 2 when comparing it to the original. But that's the key word there. When comparing it to a game that came out many, many years ago. What I plan to do with this Let's Play is to go over what the remake does right and put a positive spin on it, because I do have a few things that I really want to talk about that are just kind of in my book. It's nothing game-breaking. But apart from that... Oh boy, this is an A-plus for me. Back when I Let's Played the original Resident Evil 2, I tried my hardest to coin a phrase that would help out newcomers to the game. Check. Everything. And you wouldn't believe how useful that tip would be years later when the remake came out. This is why I've been checking the small box with tape on it. This is why I've been checking all the doors. This is to show you that the map is so useful in this game. If you can't open a door yet, it marks it on your map on what key you'll need. It's such a great quality of life feature that started in Biohazard and has been in every single Resident Evil game since then. Another cool feature is the map itself lets you know if there's items in a room. If you look on your map, and the room is red, there's still items to get. And probably the best thing about that is, since this game is going for some photorealism here, chances are you'll miss something. But if you pass by it, it actually tells you what the item is on your map. As soon as you pick up everything in a room, the room turns blue. We'll be going for all the items in every single room, because I want to help you survive this game. It almost seems like nothing happened in a room like this. It's just a little dusty, a little bit in disrepair. Another mark on the map for the spade. And this right here... ...helps the lore exponentially. The Raccoon City Police Station. It used to be a museum. This explains 
so many extra details, and why there are puzzles in a police station. Turns a museum into a police station. Well, whoever thought of that, it was a good idea. There are now safes all throughout the Raccoon City Police Department. There were safes in the original game. I think there was only one, to my knowledge. But yeah, now you can find extra items as soon as you find the combinations. See, there are less puzzles in Resident Evil 2 Remake. And they've been replaced with finding extra goodies to help you live. And I think that's a pretty good trade-off. So there is actually one Easter egg I want to talk about before I forget. Just know that uh, we'll be looking over quite a few things that we can't exactly access yet, but we'll get to eventually. There is a reference to the release date of Resident Evil 2 at the gas station. If you actually take a look at the door, one of the... I screen capped it for you so you can actually see it. There's the release date of Resident Evil. If you got the deluxe edition of the game, you get uh, Albert Wesker's Samurai Edge gun. I won't be using that because not everybody has access to that, so I won't. And now that all the fun stuff is out of the way... You can save a lot. And since this is modern Resident Evil, you don't need ink ribbons. Uh, unless you're playing hardcore, then good luck! Now, one thing I do like about this game is if there is an item that has outlived its usefulness, get rid of it. It'll give you a little check mark letting you know that this item can no longer be used at all. And that is so good when it comes to inventory management. We're gonna need that because there's a lot of good stuff that you'll need to help you get through the police station and further beyond. See, I don't want to just be constantly gushing about this game, but its first impression was so important. It needed to grab old fans, and it needed to grab new fans. And by God, it did it because of what it does for background elements. You can totally visualize people running around trying to find case files and doing what they needed to do to make it through their day. Focus, Claire. Focus. Having to go underneath the shutter creates a sense of claustrophobia in a dark area. One of your first steps down the stairs is into water. What on earth happened here? You essentially have to piece it together yourself on what overtook this entire police station. I mean, you can... I think you can put two and two together. You're smart. But the destruction in this place... It's so nice to look at, as, as so bad as that sounds, actually. Just looking at this, it's like, wow, that's some good destruction. It's the small things. I'm a big fan of what Capcom has done here. And also, it kind of does the interesting thing on explaining... One small detail that I just mentioned. Where the hell is that water coming from? Found it. Oh dear, this toilet has positively overflown to, to, to the max. It actually, it's actually like covered up a hallway. Good lord. telling me. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'm here! Open the door! Uh, Hurry up! Uh, Hurry up! Uh, open it! Uh, Larry, give me your hand! Help me! Uh, 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 
My god, the RE engine is pulling some heavy lifting. That's some good ass gore. Oh, we saved him. Oh dear. So, Zombie Fighting 101. Here's a good tip for you, especially if you're just starting out. The more in between you and a zombie, the more you'll survive. Because they go in a straight line, so if there's a desk in front of you, they'll go over the desk. That's not good. Alright, so that's a main hazard. Windows with glass. Zombies can break through. And speaking of breaking through... Oh god, they're... No! I got greedy! Okay, well, thank God you can push zombies into other zombies and it'll distract them. They actually came out of that room that somebody was banging on. Don't stop and fight, just escape. If you can't fight it, run from it. No shame. You all right? Yeah. You're safe. For now. <clears throat> Marvin Brana. Thanks. Obviously someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. Come <clears throat> on. 